Okay, now after we go ahead and we get the car to normal operating temperature, we should have let it run for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a stopwatch out. This is the easiest way to do it because it's very accurate. You're gonna need to shut off all the electronics. This includes the AC, uh, any, anything that you have. You wanna make sure all the headlights, everything that is drawing current is shut off. And we're gonna go ahead and shut the car off for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, after the car has been shut off for ten seconds, have your stop clock ready. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn you're gonna go ahead and turn the key on, hit start, wait three seconds, and you're gonna pound the pedal five times. One, two, three, four, five. And you have to do it before eight seconds. Then when it hits 15, you're gonna, 15 seconds, you're gonna push the pedal to the floor. This will make the check engine light. There it is, push it to the floor. This will make the check engine light blink. And as soon as it starts blinking, this helps reset the idle. See it blinking? So it, it'll continue to blink. As soon as it turns solid, you're gonna let go of the accelerator and turn the car on, at least for 20 seconds. Turn on. Now, when the car is on, you have to let it rev a couple times to make sure the idle's right. So give it a couple of seconds while it's on. Give it a couple revs. And this is how you do your idle relearn. So now, the reason you'd want to do your idle relearn is there's a couple different reasons. You may, um, anytime you disconnect the throttle body, you have to do the idle relearn. Um, you may also be getting a high idle, and that will throw an engine code, which is a P0507. Um, anytime the engine's not idling at 650 RPM, it's not idling where it should be. So you can do this simple test, uh, the idle relearn procedure like I just showed you how to do, and that'll go ahead and give you a proper idle and get your car back to the way it should be. Okay, after you let the car idle for 25 seconds, or 20 seconds it actually says, that completes the idle relearn procedure. So here's the actual instructions if you want a copy of them. Resetting the ECU, I'll go over that later. Um, it's not required in this at all. It says right there, this step is not required. Um, there's a much easier task. Instead of doing the pedal dance, you can actually just disconnect the, pe uh, disconnect the battery and then discharge the ECU capacitors. I'm gonna do that on a separate video. But what we, do, what we went over today was resetting the throttle body. So the steps, this one and two up here, the accelerator pedal release position procedure and the throttle valve close position uh, learning. I, I didn't really do those steps and I never really need to, it always works for me. So you may have to do those for it to work for you and there's the instructions right there. But the clock layout that I have works the best and it's, uh, I think, one of the easiest ways. Um, some of the other YouTube videos, they don't actually have a clock out so it's hard to see. And what's confusing about it is step number six, where it says uh, you gotta pound the pedal five times. And they're giving you a window of five seconds to do this in. So in the first three seconds, you need to pound, pound the pedal five times. So you have to wait five seconds though after doing that. So that equals eight seconds, five plus three. So then you have to wait, step number eight, you have to wait seven seconds. So at 15, like I showed you on the clock, that's when you completely depress the pedal to the floor. At 15 seconds, you depress it to the floor, and it says in 20 seconds, that check engine light uh, will stop blinking. So it starts blinking at about 11 seconds, and then it'll stop blinking after 20. And once it stops blinking, it's fully on, that's when you start the car. And after you start it, you wait for 20 seconds. So. That concludes today's video on the idle relearn procedure. Again, the reason you may have to do it is you touch the throttle body, the butterfly in it, when you were cleaning it. That requires you to do this procedure. Um, you uh, remove the throttle body and you disconnected the harness anytime you do that. Or if you're having a rough idle, this is what you would do to go ahead and get your idle back into spec and spec is 650 RPMs. That's what the car is from the factory. So appreciate you guys tuning into my video. 
And uh, please feel free to leave comments below, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you guys next video.